name is Alex Cecilio. I'm a graphic artist, and I'm going to show you how to do a grunge overlay in Illustrator. So what I've done here is I've drawn just a basic rectangle shape, just to give you an idea for how to make something look kind of grungy. Um, so there's a couple ways you can do this, um, and I'm going to show you two. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is select my shape, and you can go to um, Distort, and you can go to Glass. And what this is going to do is um, give you kind of a kind of messy look to your piece of uh, art, whatever you're making. Um, and so you can really mess around with these options. Um, and this one, I'm just going to make it look kind of battered and um, like something like like maybe sand has spilled or something. So I'm going to start with that. And already um, it looks pretty pretty grungy. Um, but we're going to add a overlay of some shapes. So and actually not shapes, but paintbrush paintbrushes. Um, so you, if you go to the paintbrush tool and select another color, whatever color you want, I'm going to choose. A, a color that we might consider grungy. Um, let's select, uh, that's a good one. And just add a new layer. Um, and the way you do this is just to go down to the right and you select this little piece of paper that looks like a notepad and select create new and it'll create a new layer. And then so now I'm going to select the paintbrush tool and you're going to go to the paintbrushes panel which is on the right and I'm going to select this button right here, the Libraries menu, and I'm going to go to Vector Packs and Grunge Brush Vector Pack, and this is going to come up with some grungy paint brushes. So I'm going to just draw some shapes. Ooh, that is pretty grungy. All right, and then I'm going to select some other colors. And there's a whole bunch of different brushes. There you have an, a grungy overlay. And my name is Alex Cecilio. This is how you make a grunge overlay in Illustrator. Thank you.